Hello and good evening. Thank you for visit, watching my channel again into my chance lessons. This time is uh, number three. Um, the last uh, I introduced a technique called the tremolo or tremel and uh, some basic uh, in the first lesson we saw some basic techniques for plucking without using the fingers. Um, for today I want to stay a little bit closer with the original book and uh, we will also go into something more interesting later. This is uh, usage of fingers and strings. Um, in the book, in the Dash Dulan book, um, the strings are numbered like the high string is number one, the middle string is number two, and this string is number three. And uh, we also have finger numbers um, one, two, three, four. Oh, again, uh, sorry. One, finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, finger number four. Um, this is also illustrated in the book. Here you see one picture from the book. And there you also see one other picture, like that, where the finger positioning is illustrated. Uh, basically, the fingers have to stay in a, like this. And this is the reason is that there are distances. For this is a sort. Then you want to play in yeah. C. Not C bemol. C bemol C. But forget finger number two. Today we will go only on one finger one, three, and this here. This should be a sort. So. And on the middle string, we have only two finger positions. And here we have only one finger pos uh, four finger positions. So now we will make a step further. We will combine the tremolo and what we know about the finger techniques. But um, we will not start with exercise 3 in the book. I will put in some words before um, to get out proper sounds of this instrument. From the very beginning this is very important to memorize where exactly the fingers have to be. Um, my instrument had some marks here. Usually the wood is not painted, so it's easy to make some marks, remove them later if you want. On my other, the concert instrument, this is completely made, covered with luck, so marks, they're impossible, but later you will hear. At the beginning, I'd suggest to use a chromatic tuner like this, or even use an app or whatever, but this here is easy because it shows you green and red. When you meet the proper place, there will always be green. So, it's green again, yes. to everyone. But don't get crazy about this. There's one more thing to regard. Um, the place where to where to strike where to plug the strings it should be in the middle between here and here. So and 
and the fingers never slap the fingers. At least not with this technique, I explained this in one another clip. Fingers look like there in the book. Keep them in the right angle. Remember, in the middle string is easy, only two positions, finger one and three. Okay, again to the finger positions. Uh, I forgot to switch on my second camera. So here, right below the nice picture from Yan Jin Lam. You see my fingers. So usage of here this is subtle, finger number one, finger number three, finger number four. There's one more interesting thing. You can play the whole uh, salt skate on two strings, but uh, in all of the exercises, sol or G is played on this here, in the string number one. But and sometimes it's better to play here. Okay, and here's a small exercise for finger usage. I'll give you all the detail and also the scores you can play also with them muted in the video. Okay, let's see. Um, we will. There are two more exercises, an extension of the exercise number two from the last lesson, um, the tremolo thing. Um, tre, let's say in the book, it's a little bit uh, different. Uh, the real exercise, which is, uh, let's say, difficult. But people need to understand that's at the end, so what I call this exercise 2B, um, I will put this in the first place. Because this points out the importance to play the quarter notes properly. A quarter note is basically 4 sixteenth, and uh, the last you just leave one very little amount of time blank. So the, the 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 full notes are easy like one, one two three four one two three four but the the 
quarter is like those are always small gaps between okay so let's try together exercise 2b then we will go to exercise 2a Okay, and for people who want to play the entire thing, the exercise two full, stick together everything like in the book, um, you will get this here now in the clip, YouTube clip, there will be only the metronome clicks and the highlighted notes. You play. Okay?
So exercise 3 is just a warm up for the longer exercise 4. You only two fingers needed this here and this here. So this is just these two fingers and uh, take care there are some eights uh, there are some knots there are eight knots on this finger it's a little bit difficult to find the proper rhythm but on the other hand just try it something more. Uh, last uh, part for today I explained there has usually there must be a small gap to, between the notes being played and tremolo because there is no sign. And today we will just go a little bit in through this uh, special link sign. Um, this Italian word called legato. There is no English translation for that, everybody calls it legato, like everybody calls this, this string here, sol. But some people prefer to, to call it G. 
but this is more a continental European thing. Um, everybody else, even French language, Italian language, will say sol. Okay, now we I modified this exercise a little bit to just to show you what where to play, where to link two notes and where not. Okay, thanks everybody for watching my lessons. And uh, one or two people ask me about the jingle at the beginning. Um, actually, first I heard it and it sounds quite cool, but later I saw it because there are some dance melodies on this instrument. And when there is no dancer, there is a sort of invitation thing, and you remember. We need some fingers here.